Morning Zero Degrees Art Gallery has another local artist on display. That's right, every month we feature one of the artists and get to take a look at some of their work. Today, TV6's Michael Sobeck is going to be showing us uh, some of those great pieces. What do you have in store for us this morning, Michael? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I have with me Amelia Pruitt, who is the artist that will be featured this month and next month at Zero Degrees. So jumping right into things, because there's a lot of cool things she has to show us, give us a quick background of how you got into this natural style of artwork and what people can expect when they see it. Yeah, so I've been drawing my whole life. I was the kid that had full sketchbooks and then I worked, or I uh, went to Northern Michigan University and did an art and design minor, which was really an excuse to play in a lot of different mediums. And graduated from there. Um, my father was very into bird watching, and we had backyard birds, black oil, sunflower seeds, all of that. So I grew up really loving birds and getting to know all of their little characteristics. And so my father actually passed away in 2019, and. He also had an iPad that then I inherited. And so after his death, I was able to really channel that grief into some meditative drawing and started playing around and drawing on the iPad. And of course, the subject matter that I landed on was birds because it was a really nice sentiment of remembering him, but also getting to explore our natural world. Absolutely, and there is some exceptional detail in all of this artwork and even down to the, like the region where the birds move and live and even migrate. Kind of give a run of what was the idea? When did you start adding that into your artwork? Yeah, so I really wanted to push it beyond just the fact that they're beautiful. I wanted people to begin to appreciate the fact that they are found all over America and potentially even the world and what their behaviors are like and really push that appreciation beyond, again, just the pretty colors that you see in the sky, but actually noticing them as creatures that have behaviors and have different ranges and habitats and cultivating that scientific appreciation as well. Absolutely. Now, you touched on a little bit. This is a very sentimental process. This is something that you had tied to your father. What is the favorite part of this process of actually creating these birds? Yeah, so it is a meditative process. Each one of these takes about 30 hours or so um, because of all of the tiny little details. And um, each little tiny mark you see on there is my pencil making a mark. And so it really is a nice meditative process. Um, it also, I joke that I get to play outside when it's nice out, and it's a great way of getting me through the cold winter months. Absolutely. <laughs> well, that's all we got for this segment. I'm excited to talk about the ins and outs of the process of how you actually make this beautiful artwork. We'll get to that in a couple of minutes. So definitely stay tuned. We'll talk about how she makes this artwork and how all of that is done on an iPad. Coming up real quick. Back to you, ladies. Really exciting to see and to hear about how she channels her grief into art, creating these beautiful bird images. And maybe you don't have, have the opportunity to get into the gallery and look at those birds, but outside, real birds, yeah. great opportunities for bird watching coming up. I know that they're all chirping. I mean, they've been chirping for sure for the past couple of weeks with the yeah. temperatures being in the 